Hey everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about Frentity versus Gatsby. So you all know Frentity is a WordPress React framework. It means it's, it's based on WordPress and it's supported by Automatic. And on the other side, Gatsby is a popular ReactJS based static site generator. And there is one more, you know, uh, Next.js as well. So what are the key differences? And why can you just Gatsby, right? Why you do you need a friend to do? Let's take a quick look. Yeah, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and I'll be talking about web development, career, and other tips as well. So let's go take a look at similarities first. What are the similarities of Frentity and Gatsby? So they both are open source, meaning like the code is available to the public and you can, you can request for new features or you can contribute to it and you don't have to pay anything for it. You can fork it, you can extend it. So you know, it's, it's open source and they both are React based. So we have uh, other frameworks also, right? The frameworks and libraries like Angular or Ruby. So these are React based, both uh, Gatsby and Frentity. And on the other hand, like how WordPress has plugins and themes, Frentity also, in Frentity they call that as packages. So Frentity also has supports packages and themes. And it goes with uh, Gatsby as well. Gatsby uh, allows you to add plugins and also Gatsby comes with themes. So when you go to official Gatsby site, you can find a lot of uh, themes, like starter themes for your Gatsby project. And also you can uh, add in plugins as well. So these are the major similarities. Now let's take a look at the differences. So um, Frentity is opinionated. It's like, uh, you don't have to worry or you don't have to think too much about uh, what are the CSS, uh, what CSS style you're going to use, like it comes with style components. And on the other hand, it's like uh, it has its own state manager. So the major uh, the purpose or like, like say the major objective of the Frentity is to allow the WordPress developers to quickly develop and deploy a modern site like uh, make the site faster and feature rich and you know uh, and uh, to also enable you know, the modern technologies so that's how they created uh, Frentity and they uh, you know it's, it's opinionated so it's like it doesn't uh, you don't have to add your, your own state manager it has its own so you don't have to worry about like what to use how to connect and things like that and then the source, like you have to just give your you know, REST API URL the endpoints and Frontity will take care of it. If you are going to use uh, Gatsby, in the case of Gatsby, it, it requires GraphQL. Though it's an easy thing to do, you need to configure WordPress uh, for WP GraphQL and then you should have some level of knowledge or understanding how it works. But in the case of Frentity, you can just plug and play. So you just give your URL and it will take care of it. And on the other side, like Gatsby is a server side, uh, sorry, static side generator. And Frentity does server side rendering. So it's like they both are uh, opposite. Like Frentity is dynamic and Gatsby is static. And also Frentity is you know more focused on WordPress. So Gatsby you can use it pretty much with any backend or you know, any type of source. You can use Gatsby with that. But Frentity is mainly focused on WordPress and it uses or you know, it's, it's built for WordPress. So it's like if you want to use for example contact form seven it's a, a form plugin a popular form plugin for WordPress, you can just install it and enable it. And you can make it work with Frentity. Whereas in the case of Gatsby, maybe you have to add it to the GraphQL or you know, 
you need to customize it a bit more or you need to find some other sources. But when it comes to Frentity, since it is focused on WordPress, so it's like your job is almost uh, you know, done. It's uh, many features are out of the box. And Frentity also has AMP support by default. Like you know, if you are going to use the Google AMP project and Frentity does it need uh, like you know, it's out of the box. Yeah. So these are the main key differences between Gatsby and Frontity. So if you have any you know, comments or questions about this one, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer one, one by one. And in this series, I'll be talking more about Frontity, you know, because uh, I kind of love it. And I also love the Frontity community and how they are, are taking it for. So that's nice. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.